We're hanging out inside the new Rockford Public Library, downtown Rockford, with Anthony Scandrilli. This is a lot different than the last time we were inside. Yeah, a little bit different. So, uh, like I said, the last time you guys were here, as you walk through here, there's a little bit of a wow factor now. Uh, you can start to see some of the finishes uh, on the interior side and obviously the exterior side. Exterior-wise, uh, pretty much all the concrete's done. We started the brick pavers in the front entrance. Obviously, exterior panels are going on the exterior of the building. Uh, light fixtures are starting to go in uh -huh. on some of these levels, so that's that's a big deal. And uh, you know, I've I've used the phrase before, even though I'm not a huge fan of it. We're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're we're getting there, and uh, we couldn't be more pleased. Yeah, even when you're just driving by now, you can say, oh, like look, the library looks like it's going to be a real building soon. <laughs> yeah, no, we've gotten a lot of compliments from people just uh, with that. You know, hey, we drove by. Uh, boy, it's really nice looking, uh, and that's you know that I guess gives you that sense of pride. You yeah. know, every time you hear somebody say that. So like I said, we're we're pleased, uh, and we're we're almost there. So. Yeah, now you can work inside. We are, yeah, <laughs> Most, a, lot, a little bit. A yeah. lot going on inside. Still a lot of workers here. Uh, guys are doing great. You know, obviously trying to make sure we're safe every day sure. so that they get to go home at night. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, so everything seems like it's it's exciting for uh, for the new library to come to us in 2024. Yes. Yes, which is good because we're all very excited. It's yep. been it's been a while Long since we've had a coming. library uh, here in this spot, but it looks like we're going to get something bigger and better than you know we even imagined. Absolutely, yeah, a lot more utilization of the space. So Bridget, being actually in the library and seeing everything that's coming together must feel awesome. Oh my gosh, <laughs> absolutely. It's so exciting. Now I feel like the things that I'm showing you, I can really point to. <laughs> yeah, we know what you're talking right. about. Right, <laughs> yes, yes. So what's your favorite part that has like come to fruition or at least is you know halfway there? Yeah, I mean, I could go through every space and tell you what I love about every space. The most common thing I love about all the spaces is how we take advantage of being on the river. Mm -hmm. The old main library, didn't necessarily take advantage of these views. They're spectacular. You can see all up and down the river, see full downtown, and not only that, but if you're downtown, you could look up and see us. You'll see this lighted, beautiful building that is filled with people who live here doing library things, yeah. which is basically <laughs> anything that um, would make their life better. They're meeting, they're learning about their communities, they are gaining job skills, they're teaching their children to read, they're enjoying themselves, they're being culturally enriched. It just is gonna make Rockford a better place. Yeah, these views are incredible. It's like you're just feeling like you're gonna walk right into the river in a good way. In a good way, <laughs> yeah. in a good way. And as I've shown you in your, your previous visits, there's exterior spaces, you know, there's these incredible terraces this way. Mm -hmm. where we're gonna be able to enjoy the regatta and the, anything that floats race and yeah. anything going on in the river. Um, but they also, you know, open up into common spaces that are big grand meeting rooms and ballrooms. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be able to use the library for your events, yeah. you know, your weddings. And we have boardrooms, beautiful boardroom going in off the Wyman side. Uh, that will be again accessible to the public. They can they can rent that space. So it's really cool. I know it's really really made to to be a really desirable building for people who live here to use. Absolutely. The children's area is the area that you can kind of see coming together the most, which is really exciting. It is. There's millwork. There's booths going in. You can see an area where really little babies can safely play. And then of course we have the areas designated specifically for teens and then specifically for tweens. Yeah, they need space too. <laughs> <laughs> we want them to have their own space, yeah. um, but it's all coming together beautifully. I, we couldn't be happier with the, the men and women working on this project. All local, um, Scandrilli Construction is doing a wonderful job managing some 25 subcontractors, all local. Yeah. All these people are going to be bringing their families in here. This is our library. Awesome. Next time we come, I hear we're going to have stairs. Oh my gosh, it's there are more than stairs. A beautiful floating staircase that goes through what's a really kind of grand um, gallery space in okay. the lobby of this building. Well, I'm excited to see that. Well, I'm excited <laughs> to show you too. We love getting the chance to take you inside the library building. We can't wait till it's done. Erin from St. Leg Kids is waiting in the Mahoney Mahoney Blue Room. She's going to tell us where we can find the best holiday lights in the area next on GDS.